Hey guys, how you doing? This is John Galloway with Men's Lacrosse down here in the Rock Lacrosse Center, spending some time cutting some film uh, from this past fall and then last spring with our guys. So uh, we're going to take you through a couple things that we would do with our team on a normal basis. We, we've been limited on what we can do with our guys. A lot of it's been via Zoom, uh, but we have the great software to be able to, to make sure we can share all of our film, whether it is practice or game film, with our guys on a daily basis. So I'm going to take you through two different videos today. The first one is one of our practice clips. We're fortunate that we use actually a drone and we call a high pod to film all of our practices. So our guys get access to that right after practice in the evenings. Uh, we're gonna share with you guys a drill we call cone of violence. And then we're gonna share with you guys a couple clips from our last game last spring. So uh, before everything was cut short, we had a chance to go up to Durham and play Duke who was uh, in the top 10 in the, in the country at that time. And we're gonna share with you a couple of plays that we found some success in in that game and just give you a better sense of, of why we were able to do that. So I'm gonna jump into the film here and have a chance to share with you guys a little bit of what our guys experience on a daily basis. First drill we're going to share with you guys is that what we call again the cone of violence. This is our opportunity. It's a toughness drill for us, a ground ball drill. Uh, really what we try to do is create a little bit of, uh, of intensity and atmosphere on a daily basis. So cone of violence is a three on three drill. Everybody starts in the crease and you can see the, the players on the outside create the cone that you're supposed to stay in. So you can see the offense today is in white, green, uh, defense is in green, and I'll just play a couple of these clips out. So challenge is that you have to pick up a ball, two on one, and then have to what we call spike it. Move it twice, and hopefully have an opportunity to attack on the backside. You can see here we missed that first ground ball. Maddie Stagnita, young man transfer from Johns Hopkins, makes a nice play on it. Then we have to kill the possession no matter what. It's a three ball drill, so you'll get a lot of reps here. You'll see multiple balls coming out from the coaches staff. Again, really, really physical, challenging drill. The guys get pretty hyped up about it. Halfway through the drill, what we'll do is we'll split D to O to give you a better sense on what we're trying to accomplish. But you can see aggressive two on one double. Sam Chase, young man from Tallahassee, freshman, now has to be able to make a play with a guy on his back and a guy in his face. And we have to do a great job as his teammate getting hungry, talking with our heads, the head, the head of our stick, to be able to provide an outlet. If you do make that pass, should be an easy two on one. And great job there by Jacob Griner finishing in front. So really great physical drill. Good job there defensively killing a possession. And then the next group comes in. We'll share with you one or two more. I will tell you uh, for the moms and dads at home, this drill gets pretty intense. Uh, it's an opportunity for our guys to showcase some toughness, but there is some, uh, there is some good jawing going on. You can see Riley Dulio, freshman defenseman for us, makes a nice play, a little back check here. Uh, you can see right away the team in green gets pretty excited. So again, young guy being able to make a, a big time play in front of his peers. And you can see the excitement when it gets going. Okay, now we're gonna jump into a couple clips from our Duke game. Again, this was our last game in the spring of 2020 and, and just showcase uh, a couple of our goals throughout the game. We had some, some great performances by some midfielders. Uh, this first clip is example we call B52. So when, when our guys come out of the field, we want them to have great presence. So, you know, we, we refer to them as the B-52 Bombers. Bomb onto the field with presence, and you never know who's ready for you. And this is a great clip, Jeremy Winston coming out of the box. Uh, we are not subbed yet. We still have defensive personnel on. Evan Tyler catches the ball at the point, and Jeremy just has a great presence onto the field, sprinting on. All it takes is about an extra step there. You can see Jeremy gets one or two yards, Evan slides it in, and it's an easy, easy dunk goal. This is a great individual effort. Again, Evan Tyler, one of our, you know, in my opinion, All-American midfielders against Duke's best defensemen. You know, they're, they're pulling up at the midfield and Evan Tyler, just great individual effort. You know, what we love to see here is again, this is what we call a scramble setting. So uh, we're still subbing. Hayden Levange is a defenseman for us. He sets a little bulldog pick. And now we have a, we created a lot of space. So this isn't part of our offense. It's not how we score goals often, but it's, it's empowering our guys to make decisions on their own. You can see Evan takes advantage with a lot of space here, puts it in his weak hand and finds a way to put it in the back of the net. This is one of my favorite clips of the game. Uh, Jeremy Winston, I uh, had, had four goals this game. I thought he was just a, a men among boys throughout the game. You can see here, great physical defense by Duke. Jeremy continues to drop his shoulder, draws attention to himself, and this is when we can start to create offense. You can see right now, because of how hard Jeremy's dodging, he has the attention of three Duke defenders, and that makes everybody else's life more, more valuable. So Drew Davis does a great job here, adjacent to Jeremy, stepping into the seam, and we refer to as the hammer spot. Jeremy has the strength to, to draw, draw contact, and the ability to now slip this pass forward, right to Drew, 
right there, draws three defenders, slides it forward, hammer shot, low and away. So you can see here how some of the things that we do in practice, they translate right onto the game field. And what I'm so impressed with early on in the fall, obviously with all the challenges, our guys have great passion. They have great grit in the way they're playing. They're incredibly resilient. And we're building a new tradition here. And those are our core values. So that's what we spend a lot of time on investing in in the fall.